This is Martina Pan and welcome to my channel. For today's video, as you can probably already tell from the title, it's another thrift flip and I'm going to transform four basic shirts into trendy tops like this one. So the common detail that I did for these tops is the ruching detail so they all have straps or string details in them because for this episode, I also wanted to practice on that. So if you want to know more and if you're interested about this, then please keep on watching. First things first, I measured about 35 cm to crop the shirt. After cropping, I got the midline which I had to cut along with the neckline. After cutting those parts, the bottom of the shirt could already be hemmed. To make the neckline a little bit thicker, this is what I did. So you can see I've already sewn a part of the neckline where the right sides were facing each other. From that, I just folded in the excess fabric and sewed it. After doing the neckline, I went ahead and did the middle part of this shirt. So what I did was to pin this along in the middle right sides facing each other with excess fabric just enough for the slots of the straps. That's about 2cm each. After sewing those together, the next step that I did was to sew the sides. So this is how it looks like before the straps are placed. From the leftover fabric, I just got some strips and folded it into two so that it's thinner. After doing the straps, I just used a safety pin to drive that into the slots that I made a while ago. At this point, I realized that my straps were quite long for my liking, so I just cut that part and I also fixed the straps at the top part. At this point, I was still quite afraid to use my machine to fix that top part of the strap, so I just did it by hand. So now I'm done with this top. For this top, I measured about 38 cm to crop it. The next step that I did is to draw a guide at the back of the shirt. The first thing that I did is to get the midline. Then from both sides, I measured about 2 cm each because this is where the straps will go later on. This is about 20 cm from the bottom of the shirt. After that, I just drew diagonal lines from the sidelines to the point of the midline where I want my backless to start. Then I just cut my pattern. By the way, don't worry about the sharp and straight edges because that will be curved as we move along. After which, I hemmed the bottom of the shirt. After hemming the bottom of the shirt, it's time to hem the part where the strap will go. Make sure to leave about 1cm allowance for the straps. 
also just to make my life a little bit easier, I cut little divisions on these parts. After doing the slots, it's time to prepare the straps. So I cut 4 pieces of around 3 by 50 cm strips. Then I just connected those 4 strips together. After connecting those 4 strips together, this is what I did. I just folded in the two sides to the midline and then from that midline I did another fold so that the straps will look more polished. So I put pins to guide me because this is such a long and thin strap. Can I just say that I'm so proud of this because it took me a lot of patience. This is about 2 meters long. It's even longer than the tape measure that I currently have with me. As I did earlier, I just used a safety pin to drive the strap along the slots. And after that, we are done with the stock. This is a sleeve desktop so of course I had to cut the sleeves and then crop it also. So I measured about 38cm which already includes seam allowances. The next step is to hem all the sides where we cut the shirt and I also included the neckline. I just folded it in because I didn't really like how high the neckline was. After hemming the sides of the shirt, I just got the sleeves that I cut earlier and from there I cut rectangular pieces of fabric that's about 4cm in width. The concept of this one is the same as the first top that I did. These rectangular pieces of fabric will serve as the slots of the straps where the ruching will occur. So same thing, just sew in the middle and on the sides. So it's not really perfect but this is how it looks like when it's done. For the straps, same thing as I did earlier, from the sides to the middle and then fold that into two. I made four straps because two will go on each side. These straps are about 20 cm long. After doing the straps, I just did the same as I did earlier, where I used a safety pin to drive that into the slots that I prepared. After inserting the straps, I just fixed the top part of the straps to the shirt and this is how it looks when it's done.
Following the original seams of the shirt, I just drew an asymmetrical top pattern, which I hope you can see through the camera. So this is how it looks like when it's cut. I cut about 3cm on this side because the top is quite big for me at this point. Then I have sewn that side together. The next step is to hem all the sides of the top so I just use some guiding pins here. Using the same concept as the previous top, it's time to make this side where the ruching will occur. So same thing, get a rectangular piece of excess fabric and then sew that along the middle and the sides. Now we have the slots for the straps. Again for the straps, just fold the sides into the middle and then through that midline, do another fold so that the sides that we folded in earlier are hidden. Again, with the help of a safety pin, I just inserted the straps like I did earlier. So this time, I was no longer afraid to use my machine to fix that top part of the strap. So after this step, we are done with the last top.